Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be integrating Home Assistant with Music Assistant. Music Assistant is a music streaming service aggregator with the ability to display your holistic music library across multiple streaming services, add metadata and have advanced search facilities to find the specific track you are looking for. Currently this supports feeds from Deezer, Local Fire Systems, QBiz, SoundCloud, Spotify, Tidal, TuneIn Radio, and YouTube Music with others that have been requested. Players include Sonos, UPnP slash DLNA, and Chromecast, and others to come. It should be noted that this does not include Alexa speakers at this stage. This amazing integration is brought to you from Hacks and currently has 16,000 downloads, so it's quickly gaining traction with the Home Assistant community. That said, I would always recommend that you go and read the documentation in GitHub, which covers frequently asked questions, the music providers, the players that are supported, etc. And will give you a good understanding if this is the music aggregator for you. Links in the description. So let's get ahead of the curve and dive on in. As mentioned, this is a Hacks integration. If you don't have Hacks installed, then follow the links in the pop-up above or in the description below. Now let's navigate to Hacks. Go into Integrations, press the Explore and Downloads repository in the bottom right-hand corner. Search for Music Assistant and select. Now is the time to read through the documentation and to ascertain if Music Assistant is the one for you. Now at the time of recording, the current version is 2023.2.2 which works with Home Assistant 2023.3, but you get the advanced features if you're installing a beta version. Now let's go and download. Press the download button in the bottom right hand corner. Turn on show beta versions. Now there's an undocumented feature here that if you try and download the beta versions at this point in time, you won't be able to. So simply close out of this screen and press the download button again. It will show the selected latest beta version. This is the one we want because this one has some features in it that we'll be looking for. Press the download button. Now we'll need to go and reboot Home Assistant. Move across into developer tools, check your YAML configuration and press restart, restart again and confirm. Now that's finished, let's go and add the integration. Settings, devices and services, add an integration, search for and select music assistant. Keep the defaults and press submit. Now this seems to fail. However, Home Assistant seems to have discovered the integration. You can check if this has been successful by cancelling the add-on integration, going into settings, going into add-ons, searching for and selecting the Music Assistant beta. If you see the green dot in the top right hand corner, then the add-on has been successful. If you don't see the green dot in the top right hand corner, I'd recommend going into the logs and checking to see what the error messages were. Assuming that the add-on has been successful, I would recommend turning on the watchdog. This will restart the add-on if it fails. Also, turning on the show in sidebar. This will make music assistant appear in the left-hand column. Now let's go and configure the integration. Scroll back to settings, into in devices and services. Press the configuration on the discovered music assistant beta. Press submit. Music assistant has found four different devices that it can utilize as players. Optionally give these areas and press finish. Now let's go and have a look at the Music Assistant user interface. Press Music Assistant in the left hand column. Expand out the labels by using the chevron at the bottom of the list of icons. Select Settings. You'll now be able to see all the music providers that a Music Assistant supports, plus the providers of all the metadata that is used for the music labels. Now let's go and add a music provider to demonstrate the music streaming. We'll be adding Spotify, but the process is very similar for all. Navigate to the top right hand corner and press add music provider. Select Spotify. Type in your username and password and press save. Music Assistant will now synchronize between itself and the music provider, in this case Spotify. This will be denoted by the sync arrow on the right of the actual music provider. Now leave the music provider to sync the information from your account. If syncing from Spotify, this will be relatively quick. If you're adding a local source that might not have all the metadata populated, this can take some time. As a rough estimate, and this is very rough as it depends on your system, for a local source, this is about 1000 tracks per hour, but yours might be quicker with a faster internet or a more powerful home assistant server. Now let's have a look at the players. 
Press the Add Players in the top right hand corner. All players that it supports are displayed, except for one. If you press the Add Player Provider, you will see that Snapcast is still available and can be added to the list. All other supported players are displayed. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to be using the Sonos player. Select your speaker of choice, in my case the Sonos. Optionally change the name within Music Assistant. Now let's go and test this out. Press the speaker icon in the bottom right hand corner and you can select which speaker you wish to send your music to. Now let's press Artist. Select an artist. Now press the play button. Music Assistant will come back and tell you if you can play now, start a radio, play next or add to queue. We're going to press play now. Music Assistant will go and buffer the information. Secondly, on this version of Music Assistant, if you wish to change the speaker selection, you will need to stop playing on the speaker before changing the speaker selection and start playing on the next speaker. Annoying, but I'm sure this will be resolved in future versions. Now we have Music Assistant working to play music to a selected speaker of choice. Let's put this into an automation. Let's create an automation that plays a Christmas playlist from Spotify on the lounge Sonos for one hour when Paul arrives home between 6 and 10 p.m. Navigate to settings, go into automations and services, press create an automation, create a new automation. Let's add a trigger, search for and select zone. The entity we'll be looking for will be Paul. The zone will be home and we'll be checking for when Paul enters into the home zone. Now let's add a condition, select time. Enter after 6 p.m. Add another condition. Select time. Enter in before 10 p.m. Let's add our final condition. Add condition. For this one, we can actually select anything as we'll be overtyping it. In the condition that you've just entered, press the three dots in the top right hand corner. Edit in YAML. We're going to be deleting all of the YAML that is in there at the moment. And we're going to be pasting the following YAML. This will be in the description below, so you can copy and paste it directly into there. Obviously, since we're going to be playing the Christmas playlist, we only want this to happen in December. This condition will test the current date to make sure that it is December. Next, let's add an action. We're going to call a service. We're going to search for and select the service of Music Assistant Beta Play Media Advanced. Now we need to define which speaker we're going to be sending it to. Choose an entity. Select the Sonos speaker. Now we need to go and get our playlist on a separate tab Open up Spotify and search for an appropriate Christmas playlist. Once you've found your playlist, to the right of the play icon, there are three dots. Press these. Go to Share, Copy Link to Playlist. Move back to your Home Assistant tab. In the Media ID, we're going to paste our playlist. Now we want to define that this is a playlist. Tick Media Type and select Playlist. Now we want to play this music for one hour. Scroll down, add an action. Wait for time to pass. Enter in one hour. Next, we're going to add an action, call the service. Search for and select Media Player Stop. In the target, press the Choose Entity. Search for and select your Sonos speaker. Press Save. Give it an appropriate name. Christmas songs in December when arriving home. And press Save. And we're done. This will play your selected music playlist to the target speaker for one hour when arriving home between 6 p.m and 10 p.m. in the month of December. Guaranteed to annoy your partner, so use this with caution and don't expect presents after running this for a few days. Now, one word of caution is that when you install the Music Assistant, it will mirror the speakers that it finds. In this case, I have a Sonos speaker which is connected through Sonos integration itself. I have a second one which is the Sonos speaker which is connected through the Alexa Media Player and the third one which is connected through the Music Assistant. This last one is the one that we are going to be starting and playing music against. We're going to be using the Lounge Sonos with an entity ID of media underscore player dot Sonos as the one that we're going to be stopping the music on. This does not cause an issue, it's just something that you need to be aware of. So that's the Music Assistant running on Home Assistant one of the only music stream aggregators that you can currently get on Home Assistant. And for that, you have to applaud the efforts that has gone into developing it. The search facility is excellent. And as it's across all your music platforms, this is very powerful. That said, it's not perfect. The inability to add Alexa devices as a player is a big issue for me. Also, the stability of the integration can be questionable sometimes, as shown by the installation itself. 
that did require a few Home Assistant restarts and did crash once. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like and share the video. Leave a comment and consider subscribing and joining the ever-growing active community. Until the next one, enjoy your music and happy Christmas to one and all.